Hello, everybody, and welcome to Geography 341, Weather and Society. I'm Dr. Zach Hilgendorf, and in this lecture, uh, it's going to be a bit of a change. In uh, the last few, we were talking about uh, atmospheric structure and atmospheric composition, but now this is going to be the first of a series, kind of like a sub-series within the class, if you will. I'll be peppering these in from week to week. Uh, on reading weather information. So this is reading weather information one, weather station symbols. Now we're going to be doing a few others. We might even do some uh, things like uh, look at METARs or meteorological aviation reports, um, or we'll be looking at how to read maps, uh, weather maps as well. We're doing a whole slew of different random ones that um, hopefully are interesting and, and helpful to you all, especially because this is an introduction to meteorology course. So we're learning how to take the information, uh, display the information, and then interpret what, what other meteorologists have displayed. So the purpose of these, introduce you to how to read weather maps, data, charts, etc. Not necessarily are these going to be related to what we were talking about in the general lecture. Like this week, uh, when I recorded this, we were lecturing on atmospheric structure and atmospheric composition. This is kind of a divergence from that, right? So, uh, but the idea is that we're gonna give you the tools to become self-sufficient weather observers and interpreters. So let's kind of dive in on understanding and reading weather station symbols. So you may have a weather station uh, or you may see a map and you might see a bunch of symbols that look something like this. What do we got here? We've got this big circle in the center, the weird flag barb coming off of it, a whole slew of numbers, some dots. What is actually going on here? Well, this is a quick way to show around any given station a whole slew of information. So if it was a, if you're showing all of these different things, you would see pressure uh, in the top left or top right here. So this is our pressure. The circle itself is our cloud cover. So this would be associated with 75% cloud cover, right? So three quarters of this are covered, one quarter is not. The flag that you see here, this is uh, a wind barb. So this is related to wind speed. So this is half of the unit that they're describing. This is a full unit. So maybe this would be 15. Uh, knots or 15 miles per hour, depending on what the station units are being used for. Then we've got dew point and air temperature. If we know our dew point, we know our air temperature, we can get our relative humidity from that. We have our visibility. So they'll, a lot of these are abbreviated, like the pressure isn't 13 millibars, it's actually 1,013 millibars. Um, the visibility isn't 20 meters, it's 2,000 meters or two kilometers. So there's a method to this madness, and we'll talk about that in, in the next number of slides here. Um, but then here you see this is our current weather observations. This is saying uh, that it is raining. Um, moderate rainfall is occurring at the given time. If these were asterisks instead of the circles, that would actually mean snowfall. If it was a squiggly line, that would mean fog. And, and, there's, uh, and if it was a, a triangle, if I remember correctly, we'll see here in a second, it would be hail. So there's just a whole bunch of different ways to show different current weather conditions based off of just a series of simple uh, kind of abbreviated descriptors, whether that's numerical or symbolic. So here for uh, our clear sky, or sorry, for our, our overcast conditions, we start at clear skies, so an empty circle, uh, a circle that's bisected in the middle, that's one eighth percent cloud cover or less. And then from there it goes, just kind of goes on, right? A quarter of it's covered in, that's 25% cloud cover. A quarter of it's covered in with the that bisecting line, that's three eighths, then 50%, six eighths. A fully black circle with a line, a white line going down, that means seven eighths, and then 100% cloud cover or visibility obscured, we see in the top right, or missing data. That barb is 
uh, in relation to, as I mentioned, the wind speed. So if it is a short bar, that means it is five units, oftentimes knots or meters per second squared. Usually it's in knots though. Um, if it is a long bar, that means 10 units. If there's a flag, that means 50. So you can kind of see on the right, uh, that's how you would be reading this type of weather chart. So five knots on the top there, just that little tiny flag uh, and barb, 15 in the middle, 25 because you've got two long barbs and a sh uh, short barb and that third one on the third one down and then a flag with a long barb that's 60 knots so that one's pretty quick and easy now also easy is the direction now if you remember right in our definitions uh in our definitions lecture from the first week uh we talked about how when you're talking about wind direction you're talking about the direction that the wind is coming from, not the direction that the wind is going towards. So here, wind barbs point in the direction the wind is blowing, but direction is quoted as an angle. So we're saying that it's coming from, you know, 135 degrees, or it's a southeasterly wind if it's blowing from the bottom right quadrant, but it's blowing towards the upper left quadrant. So it's blowing towards the northwest, but it's a southeasterly wind. And that barb is going to be also, likewise, uh, pointing towards that the direction, or pointing towards the direction the wind is coming from. So here, uh, in, in the examples, this would be, like I said, a southeasterly wind. All right, now pressure reports are a little bit goofier to interpret. So if the reported value is greater than uh, 500, or, you know, when I say the reported value, I mean the value that you're going to see in, uh, to the upper right of your cloud cover. So on that example to the left, we see 013. So if that number is greater than 500, that means that the initial nine is missing. You're going to place it on the left hand side and divide it by 10. So there, if you saw the number would be 827, it actually means that you place the nine on the left, so nine, it would be then it would be 9,827 and divide it by 10. You'd get 982.7. It's just a goofy shorthand that they do for this. Um, likewise, if the reported value is less than 500, in this case, we see 013, so 13 is substantially less than 500. That means that the initial 10 is missing. Place it on the left and likewise divide by 10. So 027 becomes 10027 becomes 1002.7. Um, I have some, I uh, likely have a, a problem or two on this in our quiz this week, uh, just to kind of cement these values. It's just so you know how to read these and, and how to calculate them on your own. And there is a range of uh, different symbols. So this is moving into our symbol or symbology that we would see to the left of the cloud cover circle. Uh, if you see just cover, or colored in circles, two of them side by side means light rain. Three of them, so in a triangle formation like that, means moderate rain. We saw that in our initial example. Uh, four of them in a diamond means heavy rainfall. Uh, the dot with the triangle, light rain shower. The light or the dot with the triangle and the line going through it, moderate rain shower. There's just kind of various ways to, to show and, and describe these. Uh, if you have what looks like a comma, that means it's a drizzle. So a light drizzle, moderate drizzle, heavy drizzle. If you see kind of that uh, half infinity symbol, I guess you could call it, or uh, sinusoidal wave, I guess would be how I would describe it, with uh, a single dot under the left half, that means it's light freezing rain. If it's on both, that means moderate freezing rain. If you have uh, asterisks, that means snowfall in various uh, configurations. You see light and moderate snow showers down there as well. The weird squiggle up on the top where it's uh, a post with a kind of extending on the left, a horizontal post intersecting that, and then kind of that, that kickback uh, line there that means it's a thunderstorm um, 
kind of think of that little kickback as, for example, lightning, like a, like a bolt of lightning coming down, which you can see in the heavy thunderstorm that has another kick. Um, so kind of two points instead of just one, uh, and that means heavy thunderstorm. A uh, fully colored in triangle, a black triangle, that means hail. The full kind of in sideways infinity symbol there uh, means haze. Two or two uh, horizontal bars means fog. Uh, ice crystals are the opposing uh, pointing away tri or, uh, arrows there. A what looks to be a combination of a six and a nine, if that makes sense. Uh, that's a tropical storm. And then same if it's that same combination, but it's colored in, that means it's a hurricane. So there's a lot of of different configurations and nuances to these these station symbol reader uh, readouts. Um, I am going to be posting, or I have posted already, a, uh, a kind of a, a handout for this, so that you can see all of the different options and all of the different symbols, um, because these are you're going to see some example questions for these in, in the quizzes. Um, so we're actually going to go through three different examples uh, in the next three slides just so you can kind of get an idea of how to look through these things and how to, how to figure them out. And you can follow along. I'll kind of, I will propose a time when you can pause and when you're done, hit play and I will have, I'll go through all of them for you. So, so here's our first example, uh, weather station example one. This is, as far as numbers go, we see uh, from on the left side, top to bottom, 21, 10 and 15. On the right side, 0, 4, 6 and plus 23 with a kind of increasing diagonal line. Um, that last one there, that plus 23 is one uh, we didn't necessarily mention. It's one of those, uh, some stations will have it, some stations don't, but I will explain what it is once we go through here. Uh, we see a filled in circle with a triangle on the left where the current weather conditions are. And we see uh, a barb pointing to the south uh, with two long and one short flag. And then we see a three quarters colored in circle. So go ahead and pause now and try and get all of these different things. So temperature, dew point, wind speed, direction the wind is coming from, sea level pressure, sky cover, visibility, and then uh, the last one there, current weather conditions. So go ahead and pause it now and see what you can figure out. I'm just consider that you probably paused it. If you didn't and you're watching this, well then, yeah, whatever. Uh, but for the first one, what is our temperature? 21 degrees Celsius. What is our dew point? 15 degrees Celsius. Wind speed is 25 knots coming from the south. It is a south wind. Uh, our sea level pressure, 1,004.6 millibars. The part that I didn't necessarily talk about in the lecture component uh, prior to this was what this means, the three hour change, and you'll see this in the handouts that I mentioned, uh, the three hour change is a is rising, so that's why it's an increasing, so from you know, that bar, that, that line on the right hand side is kind of pointing up to the right, uh, and that means it's an increasing pressure trend. So there might be a high pressure system moving in, uh, and it is rising at a rate of 2.3 millibars uh, over a three hour period. So that 2.3, you like everything, divide by 10. So you would divide that by 10. So 2.3 or 23 becomes 2.3. And then uh, it's a positive. So it's the plus sign. And then it also shows that bar. Now, if it was a negative sign uh, and it was the opposite way, oh, it'd be a decreasing trend. Um, there is also just stable. So sky cover, broken. 75% uh, cloud cover or six eighths percent cloud cover. Visibility, 10 kilometers. Light rain showers are what we're seeing here. All right, here's our next example. Uh, go ahead and pause and reason this one out and come back and I will let you know how you did. Pausing, pausing, unpaused. Let's see how you did here. Temperature, 
zero degrees Celsius. Dew point, negative three degrees Celsius. Wind speed, 15 knots from the north northwest. Sea level pressure, 1,000 millibars, falling at a rate of 0.2 millibars over a three hour period. It is completely overcast, low visibility, 0.5 kilometers, and heavy snowfall. Moving into our last one here, go ahead and pause the video now, try and reason this one out. Ooh, yawning while you're pausing. All right, temperature, 14 degrees Celsius, dew point, also 14 degrees Celsius. Wind speed, zero knots. Direction, none. It is completely uh, calm out right now. So it's calm, it's zero knots, and there's no flag basically saying, or no barb basically saying that there is no wind and there's no direction the wind is coming from. Sea level pressure, 1,012 millibars rising at a rate of 0.1 millibar per three hours. Sky cover, completely overcast. Visibility, nothing, <laughs> zero kilometers. And the current weather conditions, what did you get? Fog, dense fog. So those are three examples. Um, I hope those, were, those made sense or you were able to follow along. If you have any questions on those, feel free to reach out and I'm happy to go over them more. Uh, but that is all for this one. Next time we do this, uh, maybe in a week or so, we'll focus on weather maps. So interpreting weather maps, interpreting uh, kind of how those maps are changing or forecasted to change. Um, but so stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed the material. So we'll see you in the next one.